It's time to have fun at the movies again. We got great guests, interesting conversations, sneak peeks at the latest films, and I gotta tell you, sometimes we don't agree on everything. It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. I'm sorry. You ever have one of those hangovers that make you feel like uh, you got jackhammers going on in your head? I went to a biker bar last night for the first time in a long time, met some very cool guys, and stayed out till the fucking place closed. The Hangover, you ever see that one? Zach Galifianakis and uh, Bradley Cooper, very funny. We got, um, thanks for watching. Greg Turkington's with me as a guest. Ho guest. And uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I had a big one last night with the guys, my motorcycle guys. Um, old Roadhouse. Where? No, not far from Topanga Canyon, which is where a lot of the motorcycle guys hang out. But uh, drank Jim Beam and all the rest of it, beers. Did you tell them about your accident? No. Didn't get into that. Told them about J.H. Uh, I told them whenever they're in Jackson Hole, they got a place to crash on my floor, and I got a tattoo. Uh, movies today, we got November Rain, starring Roger Pier Pierce Bronson and uh, Oleg Konio and Elizabeth Taylor. Um, that's uh, an ex-CIA operative is brought down in a mission against his former pupil in a deadly game involving CIA and the Russian president-elect. Sounds like Jekker. Yeah, it's got tone notes. Suddenly now, how look at how interesting how Hollywood's sort of perking their ears up, going, hmm. Kind of comes full circle from Bond to Decker, back no. to Pierce Brosnan, James Bond. Right, well, Pierce Brosnan, best known for his work on Bond, but not one of my favorites. I like this movie a lot. Um, it was a lot of uh, good intrigue and sort of adventure, and another, another way of putting it. I give it four bags of popcorn. Greg, what did you think of this November Rain? Man, I'm sorry, it's November Man. Yeah, I loved it. I mean, it's just hard sometimes to focus when you watch a movie with an ex-Bond uh, because you're thinking about past Bond glories and things like that, and it's, it's just a struggle to maintain the focus on the movie you're supposed to be watching. I mean, Pierce Brosnan is my favorite Bond, so uh, there's a lot to think about here. And so I was a little bit distracted. I feel like if I'd been completely absorbed in it, I would give it five bags of popcorn. And that's not the movie's fault, so I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn. Great. Two, five, ba ten bags of popcorn. That's dinner mm. for somebody. Mm -hmm. Our next movie is Jezebel, starring Kevin Durant. St I'm sorry, directed by Kevin Garrett. Sarah Snook, made-up name. Mark Weber. Joel Carter. Returning to her childhood home in Louisiana to recover from a horrific car accident. I know a thing or two about that. Jezebel comes face-to-face -face with a tormented spirit that has been seeking her return. And uh, this is uh, basically a ghost movie, and it's uh, different than some of the other ghost movies I've seen. Not as good, but I like got it. Like Ghost right. with Whoopi Goldberg. Not, a, not, not, a, not as good of a movie as I would have liked, but I got to hand it to the director for making a great film. I really liked it. I give it five bags of popcorn, and I hope you watch it too. I liked it. I mean, I don't like it as much as Ghost, which is sort of the gold standard of ghost movies. Sort of the dynamic duo. Patrick Swayze, Whoopi Goldberg, you're always going to win. It's my top ten for sure. It's a great movie. This movie, it does have its moments. It's scary. It's frightening. Anything with a ghost is frightening. That's the last thing you want is to be haunted by a ghost. I was kind of haunted by the ghost of James Bond uh, in that I had just seen the November Man earlier in the day and I sort of still had Bond on my mind. So it's kind of hard to keep my focus. Um, when I did keep my focus, I liked what I saw. And uh, I'm going to have to give it five bags of popcorn and maybe a white sheet. Like kids for Halloween would wear a white sheet and cut a couple holes in it. Sort of a primitive like ghost outfit. Not like the clan. No, just for kids. It's very different than the clan. But that's what we would wear you right. know, for Halloween back mm -hmm. before you had the plastic masks from Avatar and all these mm -hmm. popular movies. And I wish we'd had things like that back in the day because uh, they're better costumes. All right. Well, let's move things along. And we have... a. I believe we have a Popcorn Classics from Greg. Let's. No, no, no. I was going to do Popcorn Classics, but um, I sent you an email about this. Actually, we switched it over to do a different segment today. I was going to do I a don't Popcorn. check email. All right, well. Okay. It's not, not on location. On location. No. <laughs> not on no. location. It's actually uh, a segment that you developed for the show called On Cinema, On Guests, 
where we yeah. interview guests of the show and learn more about them. Okay, what do you got, Larry Terman or? No, oh, just run the clip. All right, let's see who Greg's interviewed. Himself, maybe. Let's take a look. Hi, Greg. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Hey, um, I'm doing this new segment for On Cinema called On Cinema on Guests, where mm -hmm. we sort of get to know the guests that we've had on the show, and you were one of our most popular guests, so oh. I was hoping to get an update. So what have you been up to lately? Um, I've been busy with maybe, you know, Tim and I have a baby now. I named him Tom Cruise after his favorite actor. I don't know, he hasn't returned my call or anything, but he sent me money, so I bought a ticket to go back to America. I want Tim to meet our baby. I miss America. I miss you, too. Thank you. Hmm? Well, we'd love to see you here. Ah, yay. See you guys soon. Yes, thanks for doing the interview. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Uh, see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was On Cinema On Guests. Um, Tim had to go make a phone call, and that wraps up another episode. See you next week. Just turn out the light. Just turn out the light. Just turn out the light. Here, let's just, just flick the switch.